Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Santa's Room. Today we are taking a look at the Korg Electribe Wave music production machine. Now, the Electribe Wave, uh, the synthesis part is an AUV3, so it's fine. It works as an AUV3. However, I like the actual standalone app the best uh, because uh, you can build up tracks and stuff and it's very cool. Works like an Electribe. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do, uh, so if you're watching this, uh, please strike the like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, or consider becoming a Patreon or making a super sticker or a super chat. And we're going to build a track up from scratch. Now, I was playing with this one. I'll just play it here. It goes over four bars. solo bits and pieces so three tracks in the synth four tracks on the drums So we're going to start by building something quite simple, I suppose. Actually, we'll just build something simple, nothing too complicated. I'll explain what I'm doing as we go. So we have our pages here, mixer, sound, sequence, motion, and utility. Uh, we don't need to worry about too much of this stuff like utility and motion and sequence and things because I'm playing kind of going to be playing stuff in. <clears throat> What we're going to do is go to where it says here, live session one. These are our patterns, and there's one called live two. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't changed anything. It was this one. That's a blank. Right, okay, so live two. Let's use that. That's a blank. There's nothing there. Let's go back here. Uh, first of all, I am going to show you. You can set up the length from anywhere from... Watch this here. You can see it adding anywhere from one to eight bars. So we shall just, I think, to keep this straight for, well, well, we'll go with two bars. Oh, no, let's, sorry, let's go with four. <laughs> let's go back to our, let's close this. And now we're on our sound page and we're on synth one. Now we have eight synth parts we can use and we have eight drum parts we can use. And we can audition those parts here. And we can audition. Well, we can't, we can. I'm using my midi keyboard here so and you'll notice that they're all just a basic saw wave right how do we choose a sound several ways we can go in here and we can this is a basic saw wave oscillator so let's say we can go and adjust the sound here let's put this on envelope we can track through the position of this wave this wave table We can click on here and view many of the wavetables. And there's like, there's loads of these, look. We've got two IAPs, Solid and Atmos. And we have factory PCM, which are PCM sounds. And if we scroll down to the bottom, there's some cool stuff like um, chord sets. But we don't want to be worrying about stuff like that. Let's go, let's start this with a, a marimba, okay, from the PCM. We go back so synth one is now a marimba okay and i'm just going to make some adjustments to this sound so i'm gonna go to the mixer here increase the volume a little bit now we can of course i'll show you this as well 
let's go back to our sound, we can apply an effect or an EQ, but we can apply one insert effect from this lot here, and these can be all different. So I think from this one, I think I'll apply a compressor here. Let's press, switch our metronome on and press play. Whoa, -ho -ho. let's see, that metronome is mega loud. I don't think there's a way to adjust the metronome. So I think what I'll do, that metronome was miles too loud. I'm gonna go into drum. I'm gonna choose this here and I'm just gonna put in, oops, a bunch of these hi-hats just to start us off. Just so I'm not listening to that super loud metronome. Okay, so, and we'll do it for this one as well. Doesn't matter if we're a bit, you know, a bit fancy there, but this will at least give us something to keep time to. Let's play now. Right, cool beans. Now, if we go to our sequencer and we go back to our, you'll see on our first pattern here, there's this, let's just switch this off. We can be we can record this in ourselves. We don't need a note there. Yeah, let's record something like that. Something super basic, right? And remember, at the moment, we're just using that hi hat as a metronome. You'll notice also that there is a kick, and this kick is automatic placed in there for us as well. So we can sort that out in a bit as well, just by taking out the sequence and putting some new kicks in. Right. Okay, okay, let's go back to our sound for our synth. Let's just record that. In fact, let's now actually so we could use it under effect for that so I'm just going to record that so it's going to hit record I can watch it count around here two three four synth number two stop record we need to choose a sound here so i am going to show you another way you can pick a sound so that was a sound we picked from the pcm let's this time go to where it says program and now we have factory presets for certain things okay so we go atmospheric polyphonic um pads and strings What's this voice? Got loads of sounds. This is, sounds like it's a uh, monophonic, so let's see. Okay. It's mono, but we could change this to poly. And it's got polyglide, so. Yeah, so let's do something like that. Let's have it glide up and down. That might sound cool. I'll just get set this. Record, wait till it comes back round. And a glide remembers it both ways. Now. 
I'm going to have to... <laughs> now, this is good because you can automate absolutely everything in here. So if recorder's on and you move a control or a knob or a dial, it's going to get automated. We don't want that, right? So I'm going to click on this here and you'll see highlighted the automations. So I'm going to clear those three automations so that they're not highlighted and then switch this off and then just messing out the sound while it's playing. Next thing we're going to do is sort out our drums. So let's go to sound. And as long as you've got synth and then drums, so this is our kick. Now, our kick here is um, just this basic. We go to our mixer and solo that kick. So let's see, we get loads of stuff we can play with here. So quite like the trap kick, pitch it up a little bit though. And now we can apply an insert effect also to the kick so i'm thinking yeah a little bit, bit of bit of valve force i think we have a gain for that and i think i'll go to my last so i can see what's going on here and add some so we know when it's kind of coming around So we can unsolo that. Let's listen to our hi hat now. Let's do something interesting with the hi hat. And the last time I did this, I showed you this cool trick, but I'm going to show you it again. Let's go to um, sequence here. Now here's the sequence for our hi hats. But what we're going to do is fill up all these blank spaces for all our Hi hats. Oh, oh. oh you idiot dog. <laughs> oh, there'll be a cut here while I fix this. So we're back now with our hi hats. I accidentally filled up all the blinking bass room. So let's fill this up, right? Again, I'll probably cut this just till I fill them all up so it's not too boring. back to the first one so now we're all our hi hats are filled up let's make this a little bit louder shall we um again i'm just going to go into sound d5 sorry we go Oh, I like that one. Right, okay. Effect is bypass. Maybe again, we could give this some... Let's see. Compression, maybe. Okay. 
Okay. So we've got a compressor on there now. Now, if we go to sequence now, you'll see, you'll notice here, but don't forget we're on the on our drums. You'll go to sequence and you'll see this groove type here. You can't all adjust these manually, but there are lots of different groove types that you can use. So we're going to stick with this conga three, which is adding some cool movement into our into our hi hats here. Let's unsolo them in the mixer. Let's go back to adding another sound now for our synth, synth 3. Let's see what we've got going on in, say, lead. Like that. Let's make a few adjustments. Right. In, we, let's go to our um, <clears throat> sound, and we've got a reverb on there, so that's okay. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. So let's play and let's have a little jam. A mix effects mfx and this is here at the moment it's bypassed we also have a boost overall boost watch but you can also put in any of these effects for the main effects so you probably like looking at maybe a valve force for the entire mix or in uh, maybe an eq but let's try it with this valve force and now let's just watch our gain here. And that's just gonna add a little bit of grit and warmth to the sound if we just uh, have it kind of, if you go too mad, it's going, bleh, bleh. you know, you don't want that. Right, okay, so that's cool. That's a Cool, okay sound. Awesome. Let's go to let's go to a snare sound now, shall we? So obviously we'll start with putting this on to the places where you would expect your snare to fall. Um I tell you what I'm gonna do. Oh no, I'll have to leave it there now as well. Doesn't matter. Should have stuck with two bars. So let's just quickly listen. Right, it's there.
but it's really quiet, right? So we need to fix our sound. So, sorry, there's our snare. Definitely going to need something on this. Um, I think it may be a, maybe a drive. Okay, and now we can kind of audition different snares. Some of them. Claps now, stick with snares. Quite like that, but we can pitch it up. Let's unsolo it. Great, now let's put a bit of a fill in. Now, you, you, this is starting to sound busy, right? But that's okay. But I'll show you as well song mode, which song mode is incredible in this. Um, right, so let's go back. I need a bass now, right? <clears throat> so I need to go back to my synth, and I'll choose synth number four. And, <clears throat> excuse me, to save time, we're looking basses. <laughs> Loads of bass. What's sync bass like? I like that actually. What's something the solids? Oh. much better and I like that let's have the modulation <clears throat> let's have it modulate the position so if we <coughs> open up this here we can see it says position for the modulation see it's modulating already so we can increase the depth a little bit and maybe Speed, slow this down as well. Let's see, let's just have a practice of it. Okay, so miles too loud.
me just check something. Okay. Got some cool stuff we could do with this as well. So let's fill up. Yeah, just the two of them with this. Awesome. Let's do something with this sequence here. Yeah, I like that. Let's go deep. In fact, yeah, let's leave it just as the alternate ones. That would be better, I reckon. Let's go with, uh, let's go back to the sound and we want to give, definitely give this some kind of boost, I reckon. What have we got going on here? Do you like the drive? You can also reverse your samples. <clears throat> yeah, let's put that back in now, see what happens. To go any further i'm going to go back in here i'm going to hit save and tap on this and i'm going to hit save and it's saved complete now we, we we haven't lost anything so keep remembering to save stuff that's key So I'm thinking now, uh, let's add one more sound and let's add a number of this in something, um, something fun, I suppose. Let's see what we've got going on um, in presets. Let's go close this as well, um, program. So effects and hits. I'm going to be cheesy and go with uh, on the on every other one that's not got those clay, clay, clave type sounds in, clave type sounds. So I'm definitely going to Get this up in the mix a little bit as well. Because we want it to watch it. Now, what did I say? <clears throat> I'm just going to record this in. I want it 
uh, on number two and number four. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit pretty chesty today. So let's just play, just see. So, <laughs> super cheesy. Good though, it works. Sounds all right. Okay, so now you've built up. Uh, we've built up our little our little track. We've got um, oh, how many we got? Let's just let's just have a all mix and have a. I need to check now. So five synth parts and. Five parts here right now. Uh, let's add in. Let's, what's this sound here? Um, what's number three on the drums? Sorry, clap sounds. I'm gonna throw a few claps in here and there just for a bit of variation. There's a reason I'm doing this quick, guys, because I want to show you some in the song mode as well. Right, okay. And so and what's this? Number six. Let's put in a few um few of these here on a couple of them just for fun. This isn't really supposed to make any sense, but... And last... We'll put one or two of these in on each... The beginning of each bar. Right, so... So... Five, five synth parts and we've got eight drum parts going on. Right, okay. And then again, before I do anything else, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to add save. I'm going to click on this and just save this and it's now saved. Okay, so now I'm going to go to song. So click on song here and then you go into here and I'm going to go load and I'm going to go init song and you'll see it's blank and empty. This point now we can add in any of these patterns any of the patterns that come with it. <clears throat> well, these are songs, but I, like I said, I've chosen a knit, a knit song, and I could, I could save it, I suppose, by double tapping this and calling it something. But just for now, we'll leave it at this. And now to build up our song, what we're going to do is we're going to hit this little plus button here, go to um, page F, and you'll see live two, which is the thing we've just been working on. And let's open that. And you'll see if we play it, it'll do its four bars. Here's the cool thing. We know we've got eight drum parts. And if we look at the pattern edit mute info here, we've got, we know we've got five synth parts. So these could be muted synth parts and it'll be exactly the same because there's no parts in there anyway, but you can see where we're going with this, right? We could say now, well, okay, I'm gonna mute all of these, but the last one we put in and the kick drum, so. And if we go to synth, let's mute all these parts, bar synth one. Great. Now, 
I was talking to her, I obviously didn't put anything in this. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, doesn't matter. Anyway, so well, what we're going to do now is tap this and go to F again. This is a bit of a pain that it doesn't remember. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to highlight this. So is this F2 now? I'm going to just stop it there. Highlight this one and do the same. I'm going to start muting things, but I'm going to start leaving stuff in now. Like I said, these last three are, uh, are, are not necessary. Well, let's do that. See what happens now. In fact, I think what I want in here is not that one. Is it the bass? So tap on it to play it. Yeah. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing here. Now I'm not sure. I don't think I can, no, I can only delete. I have to add it in again. Let me just see. This is a bit of a, 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 a bit of a drag, but it's, it's worth the effort. So what we got, everything, uh, I've got like two, so I need to mute the same on this one. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, same on this and the same on this one. That's that one. And this one, this one, and this one. And now this will be the same. But what will happen now? This will be identical. So when we add another one now, <clears throat> I'm going to stop in a minute, guys, because you, you're obviously getting the idea. You build up your song by muting and unmuting the parts that you've made. But I will do this. I'll go in now and make one more here. So, well, maybe a couple more. Let's go to F again. Live 2. And I'll just go to F again and add Live 2. And now if one more time and add Live 2. So now with this one, we highlight it here to do this. Now with this one, let's um, bring in more drums. These are unnecessary. Um, let's mute this and just have that one muted now so what does this one sound like perfect let's go with this one now and unmute all of every <laughs> leave everything on mute yeah let's leave everything unmuted for this one and go to this one and transpose it by one semitone or well let's transpose it by two three semitones see what happens just to show you what the cool stuff you can do when you're arranging the track. So you can look at the transposition points here, and then this one will be three semitones high, so you can hear it. And then what it'll do, unless you duplicate, well, unless you do another one of these, you're going to go back to the beginning, which is fine. So let's do that. So there you go. It doesn't it doesn't rotate back anyway. So I'm not sure if you can actually get it to loop backwards, but it doesn't matter. And that's how you do it, guys. You you can, like I said, you oh you look, it says it's a little plus three. There you could add in uh the same thing again, sort of thing. Uh let's go to F, go to live two. Oh no, I've added live session one in. 
We can delete that though by going to edit and close this. You can add in any pattern from anywhere. Okay, so that, that's just a, a, a thing to know. You can add anything in from anywhere. It doesn't matter. Guys, there you go. I'm going to play this again. Let's just get out of edit here. <coughs> I'm going to play it again. If you're watching this on a premiere, now's a good time to say ta to each other. And uh, yeah, I will see you later live too this time, Doug, you crazy fool. And again, with this one, I think I'll go up plus three and then just go one more to end um, live two back to its normal transposed rate. So awesome stuff. We'll start at the top. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, bless you all. Um, brilliant. If you liked it, like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron, all that cool stuff. Here we go. I'll see you later. Ta-ra.